if you never had COVID through this whole pandemic, ever since Ms. Rona came out, I got a question for you. How does it feel to be God's favorite? But being God's favorite doesn't mean that we have to overuse his kindness, right? There's always the limitations to whatever kindness, hospitality we're given to, right? I don't want to actually talk too much about how important it is to finally get vaccinated. Uh, let's just watch this simple video that will hopefully clear the air for those who are still hesitant to get vaccinated. Okay, so here how it works. You're getting vaccinated, a vaccine pretends to be the coronavirus in your body, it obviously provokes your immune system to fight with it, your immune system is all super defensive, it's fighting, and now the poor hero is dead and your immune system is smarter and it knows how the enemy looks like. And just in case, hopefully not, but just in case you get an actual coronavirus next time, you can see poor corona. It's really, really screwed. such a pause mm, yeah today i'm getting vaccinated anyway i am actually really late and whenever i'm late i always love to make lazy breakfast yeah okay a little bit of story time so at this app, which is called Speed Up, you have to register your name at 12 p.m. when everyone's sleeping. And I've been trying it for the last five days. Guess what? I'm not making it. And it turns out that every day I sleep late and I really freaked up my schedule to try to register at 12 p.m., like exactly at 0000. zero, zero, zero. The system got overloaded with a lot of people, of course, trying to register. And I was like, oh, what's happening? And I tried my best, I tried my best. And guess what? After three minutes, the system was okay, but it was already full. And I'm like... <laughs> After so many thoughts and considerations, I realized that it probably I have to use my connections, which I don't have. So I just had to ask my friend that she lives in the USA. Uh, obviously for the USA it's gonna be the daytime while it's the nighttime in Indonesia, right? So I asked her to register it for me, so I gave her all the login details for the speed up application. So she did it for me and luckily she got it. I don't know how she got it, but like I couldn't get it. And she did she said that she didn't have any system overload. So yeah, modern problem required modern solutions. So I'm getting vaccinated today. 15 minutes later. expect it to be this fast it wasn't that crowded so it wasn't that hectic i kind of got in i don't know second or third which was amazing and people were really nice and i've just had it like an hour ago i think and i feel a little bit that this left hand of mine is a bit tense in terms of yeah like i have i feel like i have a muscle pain over here and yeah, I'll keep you updated guys in case anything happens, in case I have a fever and yeah, so I hope you can stay vaccinated. Moments later. Okay, it's still the day of the vaccination and um, I just feel this hand is a little bit heavier or weaker. I don't know how to describe it, but now that I'm going to have the muscle pain, how am I going to surf? Because I love surfing. More moments later. Right after having my chocolate, 
I feel better and I just can't believe that I got vaccinated and yeah my hand is actually fine at the beginning it felt like really tense once or twice I had this sudden pain in my chest sudden pain like here and I'm like okay that's weird yeah I don't know maybe I'm overthinking <laughs> a little later <laughs> it's still the first day of me vaccinating myself and right now I feel that my hand like this side is a little bit stiff it's really painful if I touch it so I'm not really pressing it I really have to sleep right now because I don't like all of this I feel like I don't want to tire myself I don't want to exhaust myself and usually I don't sleep that early, it's 9. My body really needs to rest so that the vaccine will bring the best effects and yeah. Early the next morning. And today is day 1, day 2, I don't know. <laughs> I mean with this hand I can do whatever I want, but not with this one because if I lift it up it's really painful. So yeah, stay hydrated. 2 hours later. And besides that, I feel a little bit of headache. The next day. It's day two since the vaccination, and I can lift my arm a little bit higher, but there's still a little pain. The thing is, I want to say that it's totally normal if you have the side effects such as uh, uh, chills, such as cold, such as fever, such as headache, such as muscle pain. That's a very normal thing. That's the side effect of the every vaccine because your body is fighting it your body is totally like you know reacting to it your immune system especially so yeah it's just like it depends on what kind of immune system you have if you have a strong immune system obviously you won't have that much side effects and it's not gonna last that long maybe for a day or two but maybe if your immune system is lower probably you're gonna suffer for five days or who knows how long day three I feel better. I finally can move my arms, my hands, and... I believe I can fly. Yeah, the pain is gone because I was worried about this pain that I had in my left, right, left, I was confused. In my left hand. <laughs> and I really thought that it was not gonna go away because it was such a weird pain. Like, you couldn't really do anything. You couldn't even lift it. But it's gone, like everything is gone. I'm like, wow, I can finally serve. Today even I actually worked out and I forgot that I had the pain. And after working out, I was like, oh wait, I had a pain. Oh, it, it's gone, okay, okay. Okay. Three days later. I really don't know where shall I start of the fact how lucky I am to get that spot or the fact how difficult it was to get that spot or how... I don't know how important the vaccines is and how amazing it is that we have an opportunity to get the vaccines especially in such a difficult times so story time just let's start with coronavirus when it just started when it just happened obviously there were two types of people the people that really believed in it they were like really scared really careful and then the other category really against it they really didn't believe they thought it was some government kind of pre-planned thing and then there was also the third type of people, they were kind of neutral, they were like, huh, let's see, where is it going, shall we like really worry about it, shall we not? And I suppose I was the last type of category. I knew that it was important, I knew that it was happening, it was really scary that it was happening, but at the same time I was seeing, you know, because obviously I had no idea that it would reach to that extent that it had reached right now and um, which is really really sad and really scary it's sad that it had to happen to most of the people that we know most of the closest friends of us so that we could actually be so aware about this problem and be like okay my responsibility is to stay home my responsibility is to take care of myself to wear the mask and yes this is something we really have to be careful of and especially with this delta variant which is really way way crazy and which really affected indonesia unfortunately and with that being said with that being said vaccines get vaccinated guys stay healthy besides saving your own lives also think about saving other people's life and in this kind of really difficult situation we really have to stick together we really have to 
make sure that we get vaccinated and make sure that all this pandemic is gonna over soon and we can get back to our normal lives. Bye!